Hey guys, Chris here from PBX How To's to talk to you today about a basic function called List Trace. Now, this is a very important function because it helps you trace any errors, misdirected calls, trunking, routing problems, uh, users complain about call denials. Um, so let's get right into it. But one quick note: you can only do List Trace in emulation. You cannot do it in Jedi. Okay, just take that as note. All right. So I'm already connected, as you can see here, my connection status. So I'm going to bring up emulation, um, and I'm going to I'm going to do the List Trace command. Uh oh, object command word admitted. Well, what does that mean? That basically means you need to add, you need to tell it what to trace. Okay, so in this case, I already have a test vector set up, and I'm going to call it so you can actually see what happens during a list trace. Now, the trace is is constantly running, you know, as it goes through certain processing. So if it if it if it goes through every step in a vector, it's going to stop and say list trace has been completed. Um, it also continually trace things if you're listing attack on a trunk group until you cancel it. Okay, so but for this spe uh, specific uh, instruction, I'm going to do the vector I set up earlier, and as you can see, it's ready to rock and roll. It's just waiting for the call to happen. So here's what happens when I call that particular vector. It's going to um, it's going to show you everything that's happening. Okay, so in this particular case, it's telling you that there is a um, uh, uh, announcement being played and it's expecting me to collect the digits. So I went and pressed 1 and for my test vector I set up I put in there that you know play an announcement and, and, and basically hang up on the person so disconnect and you can see the trace is now complete. It gives you a call ID of 15185. This is good information if you're talking to Avaya support and they ask you for a CID number which they never have but if they do you have that information available to them. Here's another note now you're going to say, well, well, how do I get this information? Well, there's a couple ways. You could you can copy this here. You can just click and drag, right click and say copy. All right. Once you do that, you can paste this into a Word document, into an email, into a WordPad, whatever. So you have it. All right. So God forbid you hit cancel again. You're like, oh no, I lost everything. Don't fret. There's an easy way to get this. List trace previous. It's going to show you the last trace that you just did so you can go and get that information. All right, so hopefully this video helped you understand the basics of how to do a list trace. You can do traces on, on trunk groups, on uh, stations. Well, let's see, for instance. List trace. I'm going to open up the help file. You can list traces on the attendant, the data modules, um, EWTs, media gateways, the RAS, stations, hunt groups, tax. The things you're going to find that you're doing traces on the most our vectors, VDNs, tax, and stations, and maybe even hunt groups from time to time. But again, this information is here for you to help. Refer to the documentation. It has detailed uh, instructions on each of these portions of the tracing. So give that a give that a look, and I hope uh, you'll continue to watch my videos. So subscribe, uh, like, and comment if you will. I'd really appreciate it, and I will continue making these videos. And again, keep watching for some advanced stuff that I'll be using this command. Alrighty, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.